My definition of a life well lived. That's a really interesting question. I mean, I just lived my life one day at a time, and I did everything the way I thought I should do it. It started with an attempt to record nearly a century of experience, lessons from a grandma that could be shared for generations to come. I tell my students that the more uh, personal, the more universal something becomes. And so I think people could see how personal this project was, but yet it has a universal message. Sky Bergman spent six years documenting more than 3,000 years of experience on video. You just, everyone has a story to tell if you just take the time to listen to them. This is Bergman's story, a feature-length film currently playing at the Palm Theater in San Luis Obispo. Experiences that most of the stars were happy to share. His history is, has a way of often repeating itself if we don't learn from it. And I, I was very grateful to be part of this film. And after having seen it, I'm very proud to be associated with the various people that I find in the film. Both Paul and his wife Marion escaped Nazi Germany as children. The point at which I realized it was going to be a feature-length film, because I thought it was just going to be maybe a webisode thing, or I really wasn't sure, was when I interviewed Marion and Paul Wolf. And hearing their story, I'm Jewish. I didn't know anything about the kinder transport, and for some reason that really struck me in a way that I thought, this has to be something bigger than, it's some, it is something bigger than what I thought it was. But she says some of her favorite advice comes from a well-known retired pediatrician. I think one of the things that I told my uh, children repeatedly, that happiness is a state of mind. You can be happy with what you have, or miserable with what you don't have advice and experience that will hopefully now live on for a long time to come. Richard Gearhart, KSBY News.